Welcome to today's public workshop for the Livability 2050 Regional Transportation Plan and the Fiscal Year 2020 to 2023 Transportation Improvement Program. This is the third of three public workshop series for the development of these two important documents. During today's meeting, we will provide an overview on the role of the Memphis Metropolitan Planning Organization, information on the activities surrounding the development of the Regional Transportation Plan and Transportation Improvement Program, and a discussion of next steps. Let's start with some background about the Memphis Metropolitan Planning Organization. The Memphis MPO represents all of Shelby County and a portion of Fayette County in Tennessee, and all of DeSoto County and a portion of Marshall County in Mississippi. The MPO area is a regional and national hub for all modes of transportation. All MPO planning efforts involve coordination with federal, state, and local partners, as well as with the West Memphis MPO in Arkansas. Now let's talk about the Regional Transportation Plan and the Transportation Improvement Program. The Regional Transportation Plan and the Transportation Improvement Program are two of the primary planning documents prepared by the MPO. The Regional Transportation Plan, or RTP, is a long-range plan covering 20 or more years. The final planning year for the RTP is 2050. The Transportation Improvement Program, or TIP, is a short-range plan covering four years. The years of this plan range between fiscal years 2020 to 2023. These plans are required for the region to receive federal transportation funds, and they must maintain or improve air quality in the region. The Regional Transportation Plan and the Transportation Improvement Program are developed using a multi-step process based on federal and state requirements. There are three main phases within the planning process, data collection, recommendations development, and documentation. Public engagement has been conducted throughout the process. Engaging with stakeholders and the public is integral to the success of the RTP and the TIP. A number of agencies and stakeholders were engaged throughout the planning process in the development of the RTP and the TIP. These activities included one-on-one -on -one meetings, workshops, and conference calls. This was to ensure that both documents are reflective of the needs and priorities of the region. The planning process began back in late 2017 with the beginnings of the long-range visioning and needs identification. The TIP development began in October 2018 with tasks coordinated to correspond to the RTP development. Both the RTP and the TIP are currently in draft form. The review of these documents is the primary objective of this public meeting series. The RTP and TIP are anticipated to be adopted by the MPO's policy board in September and approved by federal agencies in January 2020. The development of the Livability 2050 Regional Transportation Plan and the fiscal year 2020 to 2023 Transportation Improvement Program has been supported by a robust public engagement effort. This began in early 2018 with a livability video campaign featuring elected officials from across the region. Additionally, a combination of in-person and web-based engagement techniques have been used. These efforts yielded a wealth of information that was instrumental in the development of the two plans. Engagement efforts have been promoted across the MPO's social media and through email blasts to encourage engagement with the plan development. Through the public engagement process, we heard three key takeaways. First, the public values safety and well-maintained infrastructure. Second, the RTP and TIP must create a balanced multimodal network. Third, the public acknowledged that current funding levels are not meeting the region's maintenance needs. These key takeaways and other public feedback helped guide the identification of recommendations and the prioritization of projects. Now let's talk about how the RTP and TIP are connected. The RTP and TIP can be viewed together to understand both the detailed short-term and comprehensive long-term transportation project needs for the region. All of the projects contained within the TIP are also part of the RTP. Think of it this way. The RTP is where the vision is formulated, and the TIP is where the rubber meets the road. In the next slides, we will look at the connections between the Regional Transportation Plan and the Transportation Improvement Program. We will be focusing specifically on the guiding principles of the two documents, the data and performance metrics being considered, 
and the financial feasibility of both documents. The guiding principles function as the primary themes of the RTP, focusing on travel options, safety, maintenance and preservation, conservation, and economic development. These guiding principles were considered in both the RTP and the TIP. These principles help shape the types of projects included within the TIP. Examples of these guiding principles and their applications are shown in the following slides. Crash data for both motorized and non-motorized travelers were considered in the development of projects. Recommended projects include design elements that improve safety and are located in areas with a high number of crashes. The recommendations in the RTP and TIP include funding for resurfacing improvements, bridge repair, and signal upgrades that improve and maintain our existing system, and capital projects that improve your daily travel time. In order to have the most holistic picture of potential improvements, data is looked at from a number of resources and plans to ensure that the projects selected have the greatest impact on our region. Some of these plans include transit, freight, bicycle and pedestrian, and other local and regional plans. After we reviewed the data collection and technical analysis used as a starting point for recommendations, we then took public feedback along with all of the technical analysis to develop key themes that can be found throughout the RTP and TIP. Based on the guiding principles, needs identification, and relevant plans, the following themes emerged. Safety remains a priority. Well-maintained infrastructure is important, and so is support for multimodal connections. These themes help to influence the prioritization process for RTP and TIP projects. Now that we have the priorities identified, let's make it happen! One important feature of the RTP and the TIP is that both documents have to be fiscally constrained. This means that projects have been identified for which funding resources are reasonably expected to be available over the life of both plans. The RTP covers 30 years and the TIP covers 4 years. Including inflation, we anticipate the total funding amount to be around $12 billion for the RTP and around $800 million for the TIP. While this is a lot of money, it is not enough to meet the needs of the region. The financially constrained project list developed within the RTP and the TIP contains a balance of project types that achieve the priorities for the region within the financial constraints. A snapshot of some of these projects and project types is shown on this slide. This list is also available on the handout provided at the meeting and online. Now that the RTP and TIP are in draft form, where do we go from here? Public meetings are being held around the region during the week of August 5th. The draft documents will also be made available on the MPO's website as well as in hard copy at libraries across the region. This presentation will also be available online so you can review the content and share with others who were unable to attend. The RTP and the TIP are on schedule for adoption by the Transportation Policy Board in September which puts the MPO on pace to meet the federal requirements and receive approval by January 2020. We thank you for being a part of the third round of public meetings for the Regional Transportation Plan and the Transportation Improvement Program.